Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a love and general collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for my Scorpio friends out there. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting my channel. Yes, viewers, don't, for don't forget to click the bell. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? Scorpio, if you are subscribed with the other main channel, Sunshine TV, I have uploaded a very interesting how your person feels about you, okay? Check it out, all right? So this is a daily reading for you, Scorpio. Um, this reading for today will cover general and love, okay? So if love is not working in your area, in your domain, in your current life right now, current situation, then focus on money and personal development. So let's let's look at general and then the part two would be love reading, okay? Part one, general. What is the message for Scorpio, please? By the way, I will be changing the name of the channel to I Am Sunshine, all right? We're working on the website, exclusive website and channel for Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio too. All right, so here you go. So for general reading, what's the message for Scorpio? Okay, two of swords, seven of wands, nine of wands in reverse, the hierophant card, and you've got the temperance card. Um, for some of you, Scorpio, um, you are struggling to decide on a schedule, on choices, and um, I feel like you're struggling to decide because you don't have the full details or full information. I feel like the people, the person around you is supporting you. Whatever your decision is, they will support you. But I, I feel like you're being very careful on your decision making and that's good. You're very cautious. You're very careful about the decision making. Um, I feel like your your team, the, the person that you're dealing with, your friends or family could be different from each other. It, it could be different from each one of you. But I feel like there, you have a lot of loving support. You have a lot of support from the universe, from the people around you. And because there's a lot of people depending on this decision making or is in supportive of you and they're believing on your ability to decide, it is giving you a pressure. Like for some of you, you're scared or you're nervous about making this decision making. Nine of Wands the Hierophant card, the Temperance card, but the outcome would be great. I feel like for some of you, you're going to, I feel like for some of you, you're going to, you're finally going to say something to someone, to somebody, to a team, some sort of announcement. Yeah. I feel like there's an announcement that you will say. Like in here, you're finding your voice. Sorry, I'm just writing it down. So, I feel like this is a July energy. Um, July for some of you, um, August, July, August, September energy where there is this specific decision making that you are surrounded by love and support by people, by person, by the universe itself. And you're very cautious about whatever it is that you're going to say, you're going to announce. And the outcome is beautiful. Okay. You were not impulsive. You really, really took time to deliver, to say it. And it is done in perfection, in the right timing. So this is a reading where you're finding the right moment to announce it. Like you're building the courage. You're finding all of the information, the details. And boom, one day you wake up and you feel brave, courageous, and confident. Those triple ingredients that you need, it will just fall into places and boom. You announce it, you say it, you deliver it, and it's awesome. It's great, okay? Look at that. So this is really wonderful. This is good. July, August, whatever it is, you know, it could be, I don't know, marriage, it could be business, but it's really good, the outcome. You are not impulsive. You are very, very care, care, careful. Think this is the success of this is careful thinking and planning, okay? Now... When I said that, I saw 4 minutes and 44 seconds. Okay, now the juicy part of the reading for some of you guys, I know that you're waiting for <laughs> the juice of the reading, <laughs> the love reading. Okay, for the love reading, 
um, this card came out. So this is the Ten of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be any sign. Um, okay, now let's go to the love reading. I'll put this aside because I'm getting a lot of information in there. So love reading, Scorpio. What's the love reading for you? This is a daily one, but I could pick up, you know, between three to six months. All right. Love reading for Scorpio. You've got Ten of Wands. You've got the Emperor and the Queen of Swords. You know, there is... Okay. So, Scorpio, someone is looking for you. Okay? I feel like... I feel like this Emperor is married to the Queen of Swords. And they're both looking for you. And you are not interested or you're not... Like you're minding your own business in here. Okay, so the emperor, the emperor, this emperor is interested with you. They like you, they miss you, you could be connecting or in a relationship right now. The emperor, they have a baggage. It could be their marriage or they have an ex or they've got something. The emperor is your lover. The emperor is the person of your interest. But I feel like in this energy, you're... you're you're interested with them, but you're minding your, your own business. In this reading, Scorpio, the vibe I'm getting is that the ex of your person is looking for you. There's a third party who's looking for you. And then the emperor, it's like, this is a chase. So the queen of swords is chasing the emperor. The emperor is chasing you. And you, you're minding your own business. <laughs> Ten of wands in reverse okay let's see you've got yeah five of wands there's a competition in here five of wands competition this this is chasing this one this one is chasing you you are not chasing other people you're just minding your own business so if this two person if they were fighting it's none of your business because you've got next to you is an emperor. Like in here, you come across very confident because next to you is an emperor. An emperor who will chase you. Okay. Yeah, who is investing towards you. This emperor, this emperor is not chasing the queen of swords because this queen of swords is cold. It's a burden. It's always, it always caused them fight, issue, stress, you know. The Queen of Swords, it could also be a manager of this person. So I feel like this is the lover, okay? The Emperor card, this is your lover. And he is not, the way the Emperor sees you, Scorpio, is that you are the easy one. Um, If there's stress towards work, or towards somebody you are the the distress you, you are the one who distress or cause them happiness that's why this person is looking at you like you know you are in this is investing on you but they're not investing into this person because this person caused them headache um misunderstanding pain hurt stress it could be work could be an external person could be a third party could be an ex but you know if you're dealing with a multiple dating or third per third party or maybe you're dealing with um a person who's the emperor is a very busy person like a father you know it's it's a businessman as well so they are investing to you because they find you very cheerful they find you relaxed they find you the source of happiness versus this okay I'll just write it down. You are, in this reading, Scorpio, like you are the vitamins. <laughs> you are, um, yeah, you are the vitamins for the emperor. Like they, they look old in here, but whenever they're connected with you, they feel young. So you are their vitamin, the source of happiness. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, I feel like you're not minding your own business. Eight of Wands. 
for some of you, I'm getting like, if you love and love yourself and your focus on yourself and you have a balance, um, action, reaction between you and the person that you're dealing right now or manifesting, then this situation, it will turn out like it will, you, you and them will end up together. So this reading, it's saying the more you are busy, Scorpio, the more this person will chase you the more you are cheerful relaxed and happy to deal with like you are the source of happiness then eventually you'll end up together you know so yeah the key the key to you and them being successful is just relax what is that song relax <laughs> yeah and you got there see the queen of wands and then you've got here the world card it's a jumper so yeah so scorpio be the queen of wands the the queen of wands it's a the queen of wands it's busy it's very interactive it's very sexy it's loyal when when the queen of wands gave their time and attention they gave it all okay when i said that i saw 11 11 so they'll choose you anyway so yeah be the source of happiness, be the source of sunshine to this person, and they, they will never leave your side. Wow, that was great. That was a good one. Be the source, be the source of sunshine and happiness, and they will never leave your side. Okay? But if you're clingy, you're venting, you, I don't know, you're possessive, then they won't stay. All right, so in here, be the source of sunshine, be the source of happiness, and you'll get them to invest, and they will never leave your side. All right, I don't know how I pull out that statement, but that's probably the intuitive. So this is your reading. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you, Scorpio. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to, to, to get... <laughs> Don't forget to click the bell, to click subscribe, and also check out, guys, the Manifestation Store. I thank you in advance for purchasing the Manifestation items, and check out the blog. We have already uploaded a couple of informative astrology horoscope and interesting stories in the web, so check it out. And that's me. I'll see you soon again tomorrow. Bye-bye.